let me show you how my grandma would install the shower floor and make it waterproof first thing we're going to do is set our pan and make sure we walk on it to make sure we have a nice good coverage at the bottom then we're going to install our curbs and then move on to our drain cool thing about this guru shower drain is that you install it with sealant and then you clamp it in with this clamping ring and then you're good to go no need to do any bonding flanges next we're going to install all of our inside and outside corners i know typically people do corners last but you have to bear with me because i think you're going to like this method and that's why it's a little bit different so once all of our corners are done we're going to install our wall membrane but if you notice we cut it five inches longer just so we can overlap our pan there are a few benefits to that one you're eliminating having a seam on your shower wall so if you're installing small tile it's not going to kick that out two you're having a nice big overlap so instead of having a three inch overlap you're having a five inch overlap onto your pan and four it's super super clean and much faster to install in the corners we just cut it on 45 and just clean it up that corner is already underneath there next we're going to move on to our curb and for our curb we're going to wrap the entire curb so we're going to go onto our pan over the curb and then onto the G flex outside. So not only are we waterproofing the inside of the shower, we're also waterproofing the outside of the shower. This is called the grandma's method. You should use it.